This is the idiom. And today I'm going to show you uh, what to do on the vibration board and how to stand on the vibration board and get all your muscles activated. Plus, I use the swing stick or the flexi bar. Uh, but this time I'm using both of them because uh, for maximum maximum muscle growth okay so i'm going to put this thing on you know at the highest possible vibration you know and uh, to really activate my muscles and this will last about 10 minutes because i'm saying you know at my age i must do a hell of a lot of muscle training and the and all you need to do is, you know, you hold the two flexi bars and then you start swinging. At the same time, you, your muscles are being activated in your entire body. And this is exactly what you should be doing. You know, the older you get, the more muscles. And this machine wasn't that expensive. I think I paid about 150 euros for this vibration machine. And it's doing good work because it vibrates my entire body. All the muscles, even the muscles within the muscles are activated. Muscles, uh, because your, your, your deeply set muscles are then activated. Okay? And this is very important. At the same time, not only the muscles, like the bigger muscles are activated and, uh, and trained, but your other muscles as well. And as you can see, my body has become leaner. Uh, I'm all, well over 60, you know. My body has become leaner because of this muscle training. Because when you build muscle, at the same time, you burn fat, right? And so I'm having the figure that I used to have when I was in my 20s, or well, almost actually, you know. And uh, the, therefore, I tell you, it is never too late. And so, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you really, you really vibrate and you really swing the stick so that all the muscles can vibrate at the same time. Now, that's a, one of the reasons why I use two of them. And I'm sure uh, you will do likewise. The equipment is not very expensive, you know, but it's worth it. It's worth it for your body that you do that. And by doing this, I'm helping to fight sarcopenia, which occurs well over 50. When you start getting 50, your muscles start to lose the density and you get less and less muscle. And in order to prevent that, well, I do various resistant training, but sometimes when I resort to the swing sticks. You can see, you can do different ones. And you can really swing it as hard as you can. And by doing this, you really are activating. Because I say in life, you must make decisions. And I always spoke about that. That the decisions you make in life are very important. Every morning when you wake up, you make a decision. And one of the decisions that you make is, what am I going to do for my body? Am I going to exercise my body? Or am I going to sit around and just watch TV and be lazy? Well, of course, most of you who are much younger than I am, you go to work. And then you sit at the computer for all day. And I say sitting down is not a good idea. It is the movement that will increase your chances of living a long life, a long, healthy life. And this is one of them. So, you know, as I swing swing sticks together, uh, there are certain muscles also on the abdomen which are being activated. And again, this is something you can do. You can just follow the advice and of course, let me do something. I don't have to train hours and hours in the gym to get this effect. No. I train about like 20 minutes a day and that's enough. And my muscles burn the whole day. 
And apart from the muscles burning the whole day, of course, the fat in my body is being reduced. And so by doing it in different ways, you, of course, are really generating different muscles in your body. Okay? I know many experts suggest you just take one swing stick and you do it. But I say, do everything. Activate as many muscles as you can in your body. And your body will thank you for that. Now, they say that if you are on uh, the vibration board, when you stand with your feet apart, it's as good as if you are jogging. You know, you are running actually. Well, if I put my feet closer together, it's as if I'm jog jogging or walking fast. And if I put them together, it's just a nice walk because the vibration is not so strong. But I always do it on the edges of the board and it simulates my body that I'm really moving, you know, I'm really running, I'm really getting exhausted. Now if I work on this, do this workout for only 10 minutes, I really feel the burn. And I'm sure you would like to. Now let's talk about again something important. There are th two things to remember. The one is your daily exercise, your daily movement, on the board or off the board or walking, doesn't matter. You can do anything you wish. I don't care. As long as you move your body, as long as you do resistance exercise that I've shown you before. I don't care really. You know? And you can watch, I'm doing different a variation of exercise. So that's number one, is the exercise. Okay? The exercise is very important. Number two is of course your diet. What food you do. Now there's a lot of nonsense going around and people are saying you must be vegan to be healthy. That is a lot of bull. Because the only you get, the more proteins you need. You need proteins for muscle synthesis. You need the proteins to build your muscles. And you need animal proteins. Okay? And that is a scientific fact. But we don't want to argue about that, about the proteins that you need. So therefore, like I said to you before, I'm on the carnivore diet. I simply eat meat and meat products. And in the mornings I have my four eggs and my bacon and my butter and also my cheese. And then I am more or less really satiated, full, till the evening. I don't get these hunger pans anymore from eating wheat. And I would therefore say stay away from wheat and stay away from carbs and stay away from sugar. Because these are the things that are detrimental to your body. Now, even though I'm well over 60, but I feel like a young man because I do this. I don't have to go to the gym and do extra work, you know, to really. I can leave that to the young people. You can do that if you want to, if you want to form your body, if you want to do bodybuilding. My aim and my goal is not bodybuilding, but to have a well-proportioned body. Healthy mind in a healthy body. Okay, so there are three things that you must remember. One is the exercise, hmm, like I'm doing, like I'm showing you. And the other is your diet. I would say carnivore diet. You can read, uh, or you, can, you can check the videos of Dr. Berry, Dr. Ken Berry, or uh, Dr. Gabrielle Lyon, or Dr. Professor Tim Noakes, or many of these doctors who have studied diets, they really have. To me, they are the experts. I don't go to so-called experts who haven't studied medicine. If they've studied medicine and the effects food can have on your body, then go for them. These are the people you should check. I don't check on Dr. John McDougall, no, because he says you must eat carbs, and I don't agree with him. I don't agree one, one bit with it. But I agree with, the, with those who have checked on it, who have checked the data, who have checked the research, research data, and they've seen that if we have a cow diet, it's the wrong way. If you have a carnivore diet, a meat diet, you're on your way to optimal health. 
because your body knows what to do with meat products. Your body really, and it's a big, big, big lie when they say those who are eating meat are destroying the climate. Because of them, we have these climate change. That is not true at all. That's a big whopping lie. And I'm telling you that. Don't follow such people. These people are lying to you. Yes, they are. Check the results, check the research results, and you see carbon diet is the best. Now, the third most important thing I want to tell you is your mindset. Yes. What sort of mindset do you have? What do you have? What do you think? What do you think every day? That's important. Do you ever speak to your body? Do you ever treat your body with respect? Do you ever look at your body and say, well done, my good and faithful servant? Do you ever do that? And say to your body, that is a wonderful little thing you are doing. Command your body, encourage your body, speak to your body. Your body listens, speak to yourselves. They listen to you, yes they do. And I'm inviting you to do likewise, speak to yourselves. And you will see the difference in your life. So friends, 10 minutes are up and this is all we have for today. And so I will wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful healthy day and a, a happy day. Stay happy because that is good for your health. You know what? Even the Bible says laughter is a good medicine. So laugh as much as you can. That's good medicine for your body. All right, thank you very much, and then bye for now.